In this short video, I want to show you how to import journals using CSV and doing a simple debit and credit. Everything starts from your Excel spreadsheet. On your Excel spreadsheet, you need to populate the following. The first column is the your external ID. Your external ID is basically the identifier for one journal. In this example, I have two journals that I'm populating. For example, if I am referencing one journal, I want to give it a unique ID. The top two values basically represent one journal and the bottom two values will represent a second journal. If you have more than one line on your journal, you will basically replicate the above line in order to specify to NetSuite that this is one journal. Next, you need to populate your, your subsidiary. Your subsidiary, you will usually use the internal ID. The subsidiary is populated using the internal ID. Next to it is the memo that we want to see on our journal. And next, you will see the GL account number, also referencing the internal ID. Next, we have our debit within credit and last we have our class that's reference using the internal id now if you don't know where where you get your internal id you can basically head over to your dashboard over here and go to set preference on set preferences you will tick the show internal id and save this will expose your internal ids list accounting and accounts i will basically now see my internal ids over here and that's how I get all my internal IDs. Let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. Now that I'm happy with this example, I can basically save my Excel spreadsheet as CSV and save that on my computer ready for import. Now go to Setup, Import, Export and click on Import CSV Records. Scan and upload CSV file. You will select import type as transactions. Select transactions. On record type, select journal entry. The next thing you want to do is select your file, your CSV file. In my case, I saved my CSV file as journal templates for demo. Click on next. Next, on your import options, import options, you want to click add. On this page, you will see all your columns from your CSV on the right hand side and all the columns from NetSuite on the right hand side. On this side, we can see the subsidiary is a required field by the REQ at the end and it tried to map immediately. In our case, we want to map to our subsidiary that we've specified within our template. Set that over there and click on internal ID rather than names. The reason for this is we reference the internal ID in our template. Next, we want to take the memo main and map it to the memo on this side. We complete with a header section of the journal. Now we want to go to the lines. We will notice that the debit and credit already mapped. Now we want to map the account. The next thing we want to do is remember we are referencing our accounts using the internal ID. So change this to internal ID. We are also referencing referencing the classes or rather our classifications using internal IDs. So change this to internal ID as well. Okay. That means we are completed with our mapping exercise. Now we can click on next. On this page, save mapping and start import. It gives us the ability to save our import so we don't need to map the next time we import our CSV files. And to see our saved imports, we go to setup and import export and we click on save CSV imports. Let's give this a name, journal entry, salary upload. The next thing I want to do is make sure that my ID is empty. I click on save and run. After I clicked on save and run, I will get the confirmation at the top that this was kicked off. Now I can click on import job status to see how far my journals are. Right at the top, I can see that my two journals have imported successfully. I can now go and view my journals, transactions, financial, make journal entries list. I can now see that my two journals have been created. There is my journal created. Remember, you can add more than one line. If I click on my system information and scroll down, my context is showing CSV and I successfully imported this using the CSV method. Well done. You made it to the end. If you found this video useful, do not forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment below, and while you're here, consider watching one of my other videos right here.